hello guys this is Pawan from Amidotronics so today in this video tutorial I will show you how you can interface DHT11 sensor with uh, Arduino Uno using Visual Studio Code and uh, Platform IO so okay so before uh, I jump into the uh, project how we can basically install the library and uh, code and dump the code in Arduino Uno before that I'll just uh, show you the circuit uh, what I have uh, basically uh, uh, covered in this uh, thing so okay so, so let's see the circuit first so okay we will just move to the circuit part as you can see in the diagram here uh, the uh, signal pin is connected to pin number two and the uh, power supply pin is connected to five volt and the uh, ground is connected to the ground so this is the pin diagram of our Arduino Uno with uh, DHT11 sensor and I'll show you the how how we had connected how we have connected uh, this thing in our uh, uh, our actual hardware also. So okay, let's uh, go to the hardware itself. There are, there also we will see the type see how we had connected to our Arduino. Uno. Okay. Also, you can see in my real hardware setup uh, here. You can see this is the DST11 sensor, and here S is uh, this uh, uh, this. Uh, purple color uh, jumper is connected to as signal pin and then ground is connected to the brown jumper is connected to ground and then this VCC is red uh, the middle one and it is going to Arduino like that as you can see here uh, purple one is going to the pin number two and then red one is uh, connected to uh, this uh, five volt uh, pin and uh, and and uh, the brown one is connected to ground so this is the harm or hardware connection here okay okay so as you have seen uh, my circuit diagram i have uh, connected uh, on pin number two uh, uh, to the signal pin of our uh, dht11 as you have seen now uh, we will just uh, see uh, basically how uh, 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 we can just uh, start this thing so okay so we'll click on the platform IO icon uh, for that and here we'll just uh, click on uh, new project and we'll give just name like uh, let's say DHT11 uh, project underscore new let's say and uh, 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 give it a uh, uh, choose your board i have arduino uno board if you have arduino mega or any other board you just select that board and then your framework will be uh, uh, arduino only because there is one framework for arduino and we'll just click on finish and uh, for me i have already uh, just uh, uh, done some few uh, uh, code written in this DHT11 so I it will not take lot longer time for me for, but for you it will take longer time when whenever you will click on finish so uh, as soon as click finish so it will de de depending on your uh, speed and all uh, it will just uh, try to install some of the tools and libraries so that way it will just um, got that thing so uh, this is our old project we had created so I'll just uh, remove this thing from the folder and this is our new folder and we'll go to source and this is our main.cpp so initially just the tab one test program it will be written here like uh, we al always have to include Arduino.h in, uh, in case of uh, 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 Arduino or uh, ESPIDF is also opening because ESPIDF is also configured in my system in VS Code so let's just close this thing and let's come to the main.cpp so here you can see uh, basically uh, we have Arduino.h my functions and the setup and loop and my function uh, so this just uh, the test code snippet it will just provide just uh, what we have to do now we have to just again go to the uh, this uh, platform IO icon and here we have to click on the libraries part and here we have to search for the DHT11 library so we have to search DST11 and press enter so the very first ID DST sensor library by Adafruit you have to uh, add this library to your project so I'll click on this uh, and then we will just click on the add to project 
and here it will ask which project you want to add so select a project uh, we have three four projects are there so I'm, I'll just uh, add it add to the this uh, current project which I had I had just created so same way you have to do also so you'll just click on add so it will just be added uh, in a few minutes uh, let's wait and uh, here we go yeah just, uh, that message you will got you'll get congrats so here is the platform dot ini dot the dot ini file will be updated and uh, if you just go to your explorer part so now if you just go to va dot vs code in this ccp uh, p uh, properties dot json here you will see a lot of uh, uh, files related to your dht11 project uh, this thing uh, will be added uh, so here you can see your unified adafruit uh, unified sensor dht sensor liberty these are uh, included now so this thing these things should be uh, will come whenever you will add this thing now main.cpp you have to write the code i have already uh, written one code a snippet means i have already there on code this thing uh, you will find find easily anywhere in the uh, any in Arduino uh, github code or uh, anywhere so i'll just copy it and we'll just paste it and uh, uh, let's see how it thinks about you up so basically what is what is we are happening what is the things happening in this code basically Arduino.h is included adafruit sensors.h is included because this library we are using from adafruit and dst.h is also included and dst pin we are taking two and type of dst is dst11 so and baud rate is 9600 so time we are reading temperature we are reading humidity so this way we are just printing temperature and humidity so i'll just uh, do one thing now we'll just compile it uh, we'll just uh, click platform wire build this tick sign will be the build sign for platform wire we click on it and here you can see the platform wire build uh, option is triggering now and it's just building the uh, our file so it will just take a few um, moments let's see i will just finish because this is a very small code uh, all the objects file it is creating now it will generate the elf file uh, and then it will generate the hex so firmware.hex it's created now we will just upload this thing to the uh, uh, to our uh, Arduino Uno uh, let's connect our Arduino Uno to our PC so I'm just connecting So now I just I just connected now. Now we just uh, 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 hit the upload button and it will automatically detect our up com port. So let's see. Uh, so I hit the upload button. Now I'm looking for upload port and auto detected com port so writing reading and if we are do done thank you so success so this is the thing so it's uh, working and now we will what will you do we'll just open this uh, platform out uh, this the platform out serial monitor so we just uh, uh, click on this and uh, it will just show us the temperature and humidity reading if uh, successful uh, uh, we have connected otherwise it will throw error so as you, as you can see uh, it is uh, showing us the reading temperature is 34 and humidity is 43 and if i blow the uh, sensor so okay so my one basically signal wire just disconnected from the sensor that's why i failed to read from the st sensor so it means sensor is also working so I don't want to do deliberately this thing but this happened so anyway this thing is also tested so now I'll just blow the air sensor and in temperature and humidity should increase so as you can see 34 and humidity is 69 68 and again if I blow 
goes more than 35 and 71 humidity so things are working so i hope you like this tutorial as you can see here we have interfaced a dst11 sensor with Arduino, and we are just doing this in vs code uh, using platform io i hope you like this tutorial if you have any doubt regarding this just feel free to comment us below thank you guys thank you very much